What's up everyone, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and I've got a quick eye for you in Legends of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on where you can find the Zora Greaves. Now this is a three piece set, you get the helmet, the chest plate and the greaves. We've got all three of them on the channel so if you want to track them down do have a look. For this one you have to complete the entire of the Zora Domain quest chain. So the prince at the end becomes the king, you then have the queen. Come back to Zora's Domain, speak to the queen and she will give you a quest to go back to the waterworks. This is where you went during the story through the whirlpool. Once you get into the well, the waterworks, all you've got to do is follow the path down on the left-hand side. This NPC here will tell you the water's all gone. Don't know where it's gone. There's a big hole and it sucked all the water out. So all you've got to do is go and find the hole. So you run around the left-hand side like I'm doing now. And eventually, not too long, just after this plank of wood, you will find a large hole in the ground. Follow the hole in the ground. Once you get to the bottom, you will find a small cavern you can walk your way through. And then it'll open up into a much bigger cavern. At the back of the cavern, there's tons of ores and stuff inside. But at the back of the cavern, you will find a waterfall. Now, behind the waterfall is a big stone titus boss, I think it's called. Um, I didn't have any of the stone stuff, so I couldn't take him down. You don't actually have to kill him yourself. Once you've found him, he comes out of the waterfall. That's all you need. Run straight behind the waterfall. There's a small chest. Grab it, and that will get you the Zora Greaves. So guys, nice and quick, nice and easy. Get what you need to get back to the game. If we helped you out today, do like, subscribe, I do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.